Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liana and this is Chic Brown Girl TV. So as you can tell by the title, I am coming at you guys with a review video. And since we are quarantined um, for two weeks, what else to do besides film and, you know, get back into the swing of things with editing and uploading for you guys to this review. The shades that I decided to put on in this video is shade... 440 which is caramel this shade right here and then this shade right here which is shade 500 almond now if you are in the medium skin tone range mac for instance nc45 these two are your best bet now if you like me you like it to be a little bit darker because you like to highlight and all of that i will shade i will say go with shade 500 which is almond but if you don't like to do all the extra highlighting and all that stuff, I would say, say go with shade 440, which is caramel because it's going to be the perfect shade, okay? And if you like to highlight, I would say go with shade 50 because it's a great highlighting shade. If you don't like to highlight, I don't have the shade on me, but my sister used it with the same shade. Go with shade 70 in the concealer if you don't like to highlight. You just want a little bit more coverage. But... Here I go drop myself. These are the shades that I decided to use in the video. You will see that in the demo. Okay, you guys. So hopefully I am uh, up close enough. And um, it's not blurry. It's in focus. So I'm going to be, um, of course, you know, doing a review on these Revlon Photo Ready Candid um, Foundations. I got these from my sister. So shout out to her. I got three shades. Of these, I'm, I got shade 440, 350, and 500. I also got the new one, which is the um, glow one, but I'm going to do a separate video on that. I also got a concealer, and this is the um, concealer that goes with the um, foundation. I'm just making sure I'm in focus. <laughs> I do not want to film this video over. I also got the concealer as well, so I'm going to be testing out the... Um, foundation and reviewing it as well as the concealer i don't know which shade i'm in but my sister say 440 because we're about the same color so i'm going to try out 440 because it is it do look like it's a shade that i like because nine times out of ten i like to go for a shade that's either my skin tone or like maybe a half a shade or a shade darker because i do like to highlight and contour so this is 440 I'm going to go with this one. It's caramel. This one is 350 in the middle. This one is natural tan. And then this one is 500. This is almond. So this one is like a little way too dark for me. But in the case, um, if I have to mix and, you know, match to get my shade, I have these shades available. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the specs online. Of what this um, foundation is supposed to be um, about, what um, it is telling us that it's going to give us. Okay, so it says that it is a natural finish anti-pollution foundation. It's weightless, flawless finish, natural finish. Um. And say this is an incredibly creamy, moisturizing, and protective foundation. Has the ingredients you do want without the ones you don't. It's retail for $10.99. Okay. Um, and it said the skin enhancing natural looking foundation delivers a flawless finish all day long as it hydrates. You get medium coverage that's feel weightless and looks like your best skin. Feels better without oils, parabens, and all the other harsh fragrances. And then it says it has, it's anti-pollution, antioxidant, anti-blue light ingredients to protect your skin. Okay, so those are the sp uh, specifications right from Revlon.com. And how to use it, it says to use the pump to dispense the amount of our foundation you want onto your um, applicator or your blending brush or fingers. Better, better to start with less than add more if you need it. The coverage is buildable. 
Blend until your skin working from the center of your face outwards. For best results, finish with Photo Ready Candid Setting Powder. I don't have that. I'm going to use my own setting powder because, girl, I don't. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to go in with the shade 400, which is caramel. And I'm going to go ahead and take a few pumps of this. Now, it says to start off light, and then you it is buildable. You can build it, but I'm going to start off with a few pumps. I have my um, beauty sponge, which is from Shop Miss A. I love these sponges. Um, I also have a Shop Miss A favorites video that I'm going to be doing. So, the consistency is not thick, but it is thick enough. Like, you can see that. It is coming down on the sponge, but it's not watery and it's not thick. So, now I'm going to just go ahead and um, apply it to this side of the face first. And see how well is this color is a match. Now, I would say that I don't feel it really on my skin. So, it, it do feel weightless. The coverage is definitely like a medium coverage. It is not full coverage. So, they did say medium buildable. So, I'm definitely going to have to go in with another layer. Because I can still see some of my hyperpigmentations from my old um, bumps. So that's that. Like that's this side with the one layer. This side without. Yeah. Not bad. The color is a perfect match. So to see, you was right. So this is the first layer. I'm trying to get my lighting right because I have this mirror in front of me that's really, really bright. I turned it down, but I don't know. I might have to fix it when I edit it. But this is the, the first layer. And um, I do still see some of my hyperpigmentation. Um, not that much, but I do still see it. Um, I am going to try to go in with a tad bit of the shade 500, which is almond, because I do like for my foundation to be just a little bit darker. So I'm going to go in with that as my second layer. So, and I do have my, my dry, dryness that's around my mouth. I've been getting that since I've started with my braces journey and it's just irritating. But, um, it's nothing I can do about it but keep it moisturized and it just dry out so fast. But, that's another story. So that's it with that. Now with the second layer, it actually looks great. It is buildable, so it doesn't look cakey. It still doesn't feel cakey. It feels very, very lightweight. It literally feels like I have on no foundation. So I do like that because I hate when it's not a full coverage um, foundation and you have to just build and build and build. And then it's, it looks cakey. It feels like you have layers of makeup on. This one don't. So it really, really 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 um like it is really buildable and now that i have the foundation on i'm going to go ahead and open up this concealer now the concealer um i'm sure is like the same specs as the foundation so i'm not even going to read into the concealers it's pretty much the same thing but it's the uh, the concealer and i got it in the shade 50 which is medium deep so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I like the applicator. It's kind of curved. like that. And it's kind of fat too, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and 
put this under my eye. I like to use a brighter concealer. If you don't like to use a brighter concealer, my sister uses the same concealer, but she uses it in the shade 70, which is her um, skin tone. So if you're in the NC45 family once again, and you don't like to highlight with a bright concealer, use the shade 70. That's going to be the perfect shade, okay? Now the concealer is very easy to blend out. I really, really like it. Wow. I'm looking at my mirror, you guys. That look really, really seamless. It's not hard to blend out. It do not dry out fast, which is a good thing. And this one, actually, I feel like this one has a little bit more coverage than the foundation because that's just one layer and I'm liking it so far. Wow. Wow. So that's the concealer. You can see that it's brighter. I love it. This concealer, oh my God, sissy. I'm gonna have to bring me the rest of these concealers. So the face is complete. This is, um. How the face is looking with the contour, the highlight, the bronzer, um, all put together. So I'm really, really liking the overall finish. Loving the look. Um, I love the finish. I love the feel. It really feels like I don't have any um, foundation or anything on my face. I am loving the concealer. Um... I just love it. So stay tuned. I'm going to be giving you the full-on review, my thoughts. Um, I forgot to mention in the video um, about the concealer. The concealer do has a little bit of caffeine in it because it's supposed to help, you know, wake up your skin or whatever. Um, no, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure how true that is, but I mean, they said it's they added caffeine to the concealer. But other than that, it do have the same ingredients as the foundation. It is claimed to be a medium buildable, buildable coverage as the foundation. And it also um, is said to cover um, dark spots and um, give you extra coverage for the um, spots that you, or the areas that you need help in. But I didn't use mine for dark spots or circles and I don't have bags or dark circles on my eyes. So I can't attest to that. But I will contest to it being a good concealer. I actually like the concealer more than the foundation. The concealer to me blended out a lot easier than the foundation. And as well as it just looks overall better to me than the foundation. So I would highly, 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 highly recommend the concealer. I'm definitely going to get that concealer in my skin tone shade. Because I really do love that concealer. Now the concealer retails for $9.99. The foundation retails for $10.99. Now, now that I got that all out the way, I want to go ahead and tell you my thoughts on the foundation. Now the foundation, um, I like the way that it is lightweight. You, I don't feel like I have on any foundation at all. I mean, literally, I feel like I have nothing on my face. I can see it, but I don't feel it. So I do like that. That's a good point. So if you like a natural girl, um, you don't like the feel of having makeup kicked on your face, this is going to be a great foundation. Um, the color range, I'll say the color range, I did look on the website, it's, it's okay. Um, the coverage is okay. It is medium, like they said, but it is buildable and... I can attest to it being buildable. It do builds and it still don't look cakey when you build it. However, um, I don't feel like this foundation is like the end all be all of drugstore foundations. I feel like um, the Maybelline Fit Me is still a great affordable foundation and it gives you amazing coverage. So if you like the, if you already have the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and you like that foundation, just stick to that one. Because in, in, all, in all honesty, this one, it's, it's not like you have to go out and get it. Um, it's not a favorite of mine. It's okay. Um, if you like if you like me and you like more of a fuller coverage, um, 
you might as well stay away from this foundation because you is going to have to build it and you know with with building comes you using more product comes with you running out of the foundation quicker than you would like so that's that's a con for me right there like I'm, i don't have time to keep building 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 just give me the coverage that i need without me having to build it um other than that um i will say try it out for those of you who do not maybe have um dark spots or who don't like full coverage it'll be a great foundation for you so go ahead and try it out but for me i want to pass on it i don't um feel like it's for me but i will say go ahead and get your get your hands on those concealer the concealer is a really good concealer for it to be a drugstore concealer it's only $9.99 and i love it i love the way it, it blends i love the coverage um i feel like the concealer has a little bit more of a better coverage than the foundation to be honest um and that's about it i just i would say get the found, um, foundation if you more on the um natural look and you don't need full coverage um but i will highly recommend the concealer definitely get the concealer um and try it out because you will not be disappointed because i was like wild about the concealer so that's it for this video hopefully you guys like this video make sure you rate subscribe subscribe in comments leave your thoughts down below share the video and let me know what you guys want to see next until next time i will see you guys bye